fight! Hello and welcome back to the N64 Beta Project. As always, this is a show for all your N64 unreleased games, betas, prototypes, and for today's episode, game hacks. Banjo-Kazooie is undoubtedly one of the greatest platformers ever made. Fans fell in love with its awesome gameplay, creative levels, and lovable characters. Mixed in with the British humour and tight controls was a game which for many rates is the best platformer on the console. With such a loyal fan base, it's no surprise that the game has become the centrepiece for modders and game hackers across the world. And for today's episode, I want to shed some light on the new addition to the Banjo universe with the public release of Snowglow Village. As with all my videos, the games I play in the N64 beta project are playable by you at home, so stay tuned for details on how you can get your hands on this cool new level. Firstly, thanks must go to the creative team of Cool Boy Man of Rareware Central. Skill and also sub drag from Goldeneye Vault. Without them, this episode wouldn't have been possible and you wouldn't have been able to get your hands on this, so as always, kudos to you guys. Now, already this episode has gone on far too long without discussing what Snowglow Village actually is. Essentially, it's a new Banjo Kazooie level for you to play, and if you're a fan of the series, you'll know I love hacks which run on the original console, and yet, this is another game which you can use your EverDrive 64 to play. Snowglow Village is a totally new winter themed level which when using the patch on the original game file will allow you to enter this new level which should take around 15 to 20 minutes for a competent gamer to complete. It has 10 jiggies, 100 notes, 6 honeycomb pieces, jinjos and there's also a little secret for all your explorers to find. But how did this new level come about? Well for many years people have been working on Mumbo's wand a Banjo-Kazooie level editor which is hoped will one day lead to an entirely new Banjo-Kazooie game made by fans for fans. While work continues on this game, on Christmas Day 2012 this custom level was released to much applaud by fans everywhere. The level itself has many areas to explore including the main overworld, caves, houses and so on. The same tight controls you've learned from playing the original for many years now, they're all here, and you'll get to start the game with the full move set, so you don't have to learn any more from bottles. The attention to detail in the level is fantastic, and it has all the charm and quirks that the original had. It may not be as difficult or as in-depth as some of the levels in the original game, but just going back to playing Banjo-Kazooie with the new level is a total blast. My personal favourite parts of the hack are finding all the Jinjos and flying around the cave whilst dodging attacks. There are areas in the level to fly, to swim and to run, so you'll need to use the full skill set in order to find everything in the level. There are a few minor problems however. The camera for one can be a pain at times. It can occasionally flip into awkward positions which makes orientation difficult, however this is normally easy to correct with a simple C button press. Another problem is that the level leaves you yearning for more. It brings back the memories of a classic game, and so it's almost a tease only having one level to play through. I just hope that the project attracts further talented members in order to speed up the release of more levels. I also love the totally new music for the level. It sounds fitting and true to the original whilst at the same time giving us a new tune to get stuck in our heads for a few days. Now to play the game, you'll need to follow the instructions down below. In essence, you need to patch a clean Banjo V1 file with the patch at the link in the description. Once you've done so, you can either play the game in an emulator, or for a more authentic experience, run the newly patched file in your EverDrive 64 to play it on your original console. In closing, this is a must play. Sure, it may be short blast for fans of the original who all still have the skills they did back in the day, but don't let that put you off. This is a charming and true to the original hack which gives us hope that one day we can expect a new game which we've all been waiting for far too long now. 
But what do you make of this new level? Are you excited to play it, hoping to bring back memories of the original from all those years ago? Or do you think Banjo-Kazooie is a sacred game which should be left alone to rest as one of the greatest platformers of the 64-bit console era? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and until next time, 